And when I saw his paperwork and that he lived in Silmar, California, and it's this white dude in a suit, I'm like, yo, you're white and you're living in Silmar, California. This is how it all started. That's okay. dangerous. And yeah, so I said, you either fell in love with a Latin woman or you bumped your head and you got to play so that cheap you that your you ass don't know where you're yeah. at. My Absolutely. God fought, my, God, <laughs> my daughter's godfather at the time was the head of San Fernando, Ben Medina. And he was a shot caller and he lived a block and a half away from him. So I knew the area very well over by Silmar High. Ends up, I met a Latin girl. He goes, how did you know? Yeah, yeah, I met a Latin girl. I go, because you don't belong in Silmar. He goes, I thought it was Slimar. <laughs> so I hire him because he's wearing a suit, right? And uh, I, I mentored over a thousand telemarketers and we sold tools. And me and Vinny, Vin Diesel, we worked together you know, for 15 years and we were making fun. We said, let's hire the guy, I'll hire him. Well, next thing you know, he was an internet millionaire at 16 years of age. But his business partner died and the wife took all the money, but he's 16. So he doesn't know, do that to him today, and it's a different story. So he goes, oh, I'll rebuild it. So he goes to me, he goes, hey, you ready to make some real money? And we're building this friendship. And I go, man, I, I can't do this, man. I, I'm not a computer guy. He goes, I don't need you to be a computer guy. I'm the computer guy. So I didn't take him up on it. And all these years, we've said, okay, let's do it. And I never did, because I thought I was holding him back. So just recently, he sold the blog to Disney Travel Company for six figures, and they contacted him. And he had three to 400,000 followers, right? Yep. And he says, oh, I'm just doing it for a hobby. And they say, well, how about $150,000? Is it a hobby now? And he says, I'll sell it. Well, that's not what we want. We're gonna buy this one, but we want you to build us the mother low. Okay. So he calls me, I don't get involved again. And he builds it to 400,000 more followers, but it got hacked and crashed. So his story is he's working for this $400 million company and a billionaire came in and says, I'll pay $200,000 for one-on-one -on -one coaching from Chris Brown. And they take the 200,000 and he one-on-one -on -one coaches this guy. Guy's name is Al Nin, knows the best of the best. He ends up being one of Chris's clients. He's the guy who fixed the Target credit card debacle. He charged them 10 million. Through what he learned through Chris and through what he knew, he charged Target 10 million. They're still great friends today. Yeah. So next thing you know, I'm making $150,000, $200,000 selling tools, running a business. I've got 150 people under me. And I never got paid what I should have. So he leaves his $15 an hour job. Okay. That's what they're paying him, 15 bucks an hour. I quit my $150,000 a year job and say, fuck you. Take your money and shove it up your ass. Peace industrial. Right. So just finally, recently, he says, look, man, you got to fucking come in. It's been 2004. It's been 13 years. I said, I'm in. Okay. I quit. We left everything. And we started Alpha Lifestyle Academy. So this website Lord, is, from what we've been told by a lot of people, is the modern day version of Cupid and the 411. We have a software that tells us what everybody in the United States is Google. Relationships, pain, cancer, diabetes, financial, uh, oh my God, you, you name it, uh, nutrition, fitness. Okay. So we're blogging, and we start blogging about what people are Googling. So Googling's notice what people are Googling, and his name, they put the two and two together. So here comes the followers, okay? Okay. Now what happens is Instagram comes in and says, hey, we want to sponsor this because they know that he sold it to Disney. And it's this a company so from Instagram. I, I, I am like in the dark about so, it. Yeah. So, okay. so what happens now, Disney and Instagram are now waiting for this to get to 2 million emails. Okay. With 2 million opted in emails, in the meantime, the products that we have in the services being a Beachbody, we hooked up with Beachbody. Beachbody spends $185 million a year in marketing and advertising. So right here, Rewards Club, over $1 million in prizes. $500 a day giveaway, 100,000 grand price twice a year, plus a dream car, dream home, and payments. Beachbody literally does this. Their model is we're going to bribe you to get in fitness and get fit. So they and come out with P90X, yeah. they come out with Insanity, and this is what they do. So they have a thing called Shakeology. So they're going to give away $500 a day. Okay. And they do. Once you get that Shakeology and you start drinking it and you start using the nutrition products that they have, and it's 40 bucks a month people start saying, this is good shit. And that's who we teamed up with for the fitness. Okay. Okay? We also belong to a travel agency. I have unlimited. 
I personally have unlimited, I can send all of us on a hundred weeks vacation to one of 50,000 five-star resorts around the world, and I only pay, and it just went up. He was with me in Vegas, I yeah. was pissed. Yeah. I, don't, I only pay two ninety nine a week. So you, I can stay at any five-star resort around the world and a life. And people think, oh, you're making 150 a year. I also had five kids. Yeah, yeah, so anyway, long story short, man, we just switched up gears. We've been doing this, and what we do is we help a lot of people. As an example, people want to do a site. We were just talking last night after a meeting. Um, those two kids. Um, Stuart and Bobby. They came up to Chris and said, hey, we hear you guys are into social media. We were thinking of doing a new website. So we went and looked at their website. Shit, it's really bad. But 99% of the websites are, and it's not their fault. Because you're paying somebody to build your website. Well, here's, if we all have websites, what are you doing with it? So me and Chris, like, we're, we're thinking about making a website for it. No, you're not. What the fuck you want a website for? So you either got to want to sell something, promote something. How are you going to bring the traffic through? And what are you going to sell? Because you can have a kick-ass website. But if you don't know nothing about social media and how to manipulate the content and what you can get away with Google and YouTube and Instagram and what you can't get away, because we've already been shut down twice. We push the envelope, right? And yeah. we say, let them shut us down. Shut me down. What can we get away with? Shut me down. We're stealing content. We're stealing videos. We're uploading other people's videos. And boom, copyright infringements. Copyright. Good. And we wanted to get shut down. And so I we lost. Tons of money from having my yeah. YouTube channel shut yeah. down completely. And it, and it shut. We lost over two hundred thousand dollars so far from where we were to where we're going to be because we had it shut down because we wanted to push the envelope. Who at YouTube and who at Instagram, who at Google, who's really watching? Well, let's find out. And then when we found out, we said, now we know where we can go. So we go all the way to the edge and we stop. And that's where we're at with this. So I have a sales program. And one of the sales programs is I can take 50 of your salesmen or I could do one-on-one. -on -one, and I'll take your sales from here to here. So I literally on my own took Martin Worldwide, which is a data company in Westlake Village, from $3 million. And in nine months, we're at $20 million mm. with the same staff. And my bonus for Christmas was $150. And that's when I realized I'm done. I'm done. So I'd rather be broke and build this and cash out than you pay me three thousand a week after taxes. I'm going home with you know right around twenty four hundred, twenty two hundred, manipulating the system, claiming exempt, claiming nine, then I owe another nine grand. So playing that game at one fifty, I, I said let's do this, and this is where I'm at, man. So um, the sales program I have, I charge twenty five grand, and right now I'm four behind. I got offered 25000 to go to Indonesia and speak in front of 3,000 telemarketers. Because Indonesia, the minimum wage, as you probably know, they only make right around eight bucks a week. So when I go down there, I went to Indonesia 10 years ago and they paid me 25 grand and now they want to do it again. And 25 grand in Indonesia, you could buy an island. They said, do you want an island or do you want the 25 grand? I said, well, I'm not coming back, so I'll take the 25 yeah. grand. So this is where we're at, man. And then, uh, so we meet one of my friends, Marlon, and that's where we're gonna go right now, everybody. This guy is one of the top three in the country with the business credit and fixing credit. Because everybody out there says they can do it, but nobody does. So they're inside with, you know, the whites and the rich. Okay, I, I get it. Jews and gays run Hollywood, I get it. And Jewish are the 